All right, we're gonna do a video with Bosco, and then we're gonna do the same thing with Eleanor. And with Bosco, probably his biggest issue was pulling on the leash, not paying attention, no focus, being crazy, you know, just that kind of stuff. And I'll tell you what, all the jumping, the not listening, the bad manners, it all is easy to fix if the dog can walk on the leash nicely. Now, when the dog's walking on the leash, they don't know how to walk on a leash when you first get them. You have to teach them how to do that. Dogs walk faster than people do. If you watch two dogs out here, they can cover 200 yards in about 10 seconds. We can't do that. Dogs are used to moving faster. They cover ground a lot faster than we can. And they don't understand that they have to follow this sidewalk or they have to go in this straight line and they have a point A and a point B they're trying to get to. And they don't understand that you're you're walking together. So that's all stuff that they have to learn. They have to learn how to pay attention to where you're going. It's not because they're trying to be dominant or they're trying to just be a pain or they're too dumb to do it. It's because they don't understand what you're trying. They don't have a clue what you're trying to get them to do. You can yank on the leash, yell at them, cuss at them. None of that's going to make a difference because they still don't know what you want. They don't speak English. They're not people. So Bosco's biggest problem was just, you know, no manners, pulling on the leash, not really listening, not really giving a lot of focus. Everything was just fun and play with no structure really. So if a dog can walk on a leash good, that sets that first foundation to where it starts to see you as someone, the competent person, so to speak. You're setting the foundation. You're, you're the one that's in charge. When they start respecting you on a walk and learning to look at you and understanding that you're doing this together, everything else becomes a lot more manageable. Almost every dog I get that has bad manners, barks real bad on the leash, lunges, they always, the, the, the one common thing is they're always pulling. That's the common denominator. So you have to teach them that you're in charge of the walk. And sometimes that's gonna take a stern correction, and sometimes it's not. It just depends on the dog. Not everything can be rainbows and gummy bears, and not everything can be correction and force. There has to be a nice little blend between the two a lot of the times. So I'll show you what I mean. And really Bosco, he's such a soft, soft dog. There's not a lot of correction. He's gonna respond better to rewarding him when he's where I want him. But uh, he's doing awesome on the leash now and I'm really proud of him. He'll...
<clears throat> okay, so he did really good right there. But you did see when I was walking, I got about halfway down around the curve there. I had to give him a couple pops on the collar. That's just to get his attention. You know, I'm not yanking on him. I'm not yelling at him. It's literally this. Using nothing more than my wrist just to get his attention, get him back on track. Uh, you saw when, I, when I'm stopping now, he's stopping. He's sitting. He goes in a down really nice. He found himself some a stick here he's chewing on. But he's not tangling himself up on the tripod, and I can sit here and talk to the camera. Uh, also, uh, like Eleanor, which you're going to see, she's awesome on the leash now. She came to me in a harness, and I do not use harnesses. I've never used a harness. They're a pain. They don't teach the dog anything. It makes, the, it, makes it easier for the dog to pull. Everybody puts a harness on their dog because they say that the dog's choking itself, and they'll choke themselves to death, so that's why they put the harness. Your dog's not going to choke itself to death. I promise. It's never happened. Uh, get rid of the harnesses, get rid of the flexi re retractable leashes, get rid of the head halties, get rid of the, the no pull harness gimmicks. You don't need any of that. You just need to spend some time with the dog. There's no quick fix that's going to make your dog walk nicely. They might, you know, it might curb some of the pulling a little bit, but the urge is still there. What you have to do is get rid of the urge. And then you won't even need a leash. Like with him pretty much. Let's see how he does without a leash on. Come on. Good boy. Hey, come here. Hey. Come here. Good boy. Drop it. Hey. Sit. Good boy. Boy, now he's distracted. So come. I want to be more exciting than what than that stick. If you can't be more exciting than a stick, you have a problem. Bosco, come. Good boy. Down. Nope. Down. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. All right, come here. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. So that's pretty good. But you see what I'm saying? When I'm using the food, what all I'm doing is redirecting his urges. I know he likes the food more than he's going to... He loves food, so that's a win for me right there. So if he knows I'm, I can give him something better than running off into the grass and grabbing sticks or chasing something, then that's what I'm doing. I'm redirecting those urges. And you just do it enough, 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 enough to where it's a habit. You're building muscle memory. Good. You'll notice he hasn't jumped on me one time. 
even though I'm holding food in my hands, which used to be a huge problem for him. But he knows if he sits there patiently for me, well, I'm talking and he's going to get what he wants. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's very good. Good. So there's a good look at Bosco and hopefully whatever I said kind of helped. But really, when you're training a dog, you need nothing more than a leash, a collar, and probably some food. And you start off like I have with him somewhere where there's not a lot of distractions. You got to make it easy for him. You got to make it easy as possible. You have to set the dog up for success and you have to want, you have to help them win. So if, you know, I'm not just going to go to Walmart parking lot and try to do this first day. That's just too much. It's unrealistic and it's, you're going to struggle. You're going to get frustrated and you're never going to walk the dog again. <laughs> All right. We'll probably, we're going to bring out Eleanor next. All right. Toodles.